Well, could there be a baby boom during this COVID-19 pandemic? Well, with the curfews and national lockdowns bringing couples closer together, Mokush Lapinder tells us tonight that there's a widely held view that nine months from now, heads and beds on local maternity wards may peak. If it's a boy, try COVID. COVID Bryant is also up there. A girl, consider Corona. Or how about Corona Lisa or Demi, short for pandemic. You can also follow the lead of an Indian family and go with lockdown. By whatever name, boredom has driven many to make the best of the global pandemic. And with all the downtime, that includes having a baby. Leading, therefore, to a huge upswing. Well, according to consultant psychiatrist Dr. John Dillett, while the thought of a baby boom can't be outrightly rejected, research shows that it can't be accepted either. Conception is a very complicated process. Uh, there are many factors that are involved with being able to conceive a child. Uh, certainly, persons being in close proximity and having more access to one another conceivably could help to increase the possibilities. But other factors such as stress, mood disturbances, uh, things of that nature are also significant factors and they could actually lead to a decrease in chance of conception as well. The proof will be in the pudding uh, when we see nine months from now whether or not our birth rates have actually increased. That would be the overriding factor to see whose theory might be correct. But it's possible. But also there are other factors that might suggest that it's not going to happen as well. You see, one issue, he says, that's been uncovered in the pandemic is the precarious nature Bahamians find themselves in psychologically, emotionally, and financially. There have been many concerns as to whether or not the level of domestic uh, abuse and also discord, whether or not that has also increased because of person being in close quarters. Uh, but certainly, planned parenthood is usually preferred. And if a couple feels that they're emotionally, financially, uh, from a maturity standpoint, ready to have a child together and they prepare themselves, then by all means, uh, then they should. But it's something that should be done in a very thoughtful fashion. Uh, I think we have way too many children at the present time who do not have stable home environments. And the best thing that we can do for our children is to provide them with a very happy childhood. And that usually means, if possible, uh, that they have both parents and also there's both financial and emotional stability in the home. So there you have it. What some see as a baby boom on the horizon could actually be a pregnancy pause. I'm Makushla Pinder.